Hi, welcome to another video of help. Uh, on this time, we're going to do um, scheduled meetings. Favorite topic on uh, on the minds of some. So uh, let's go to the home page here. We can go to the home page by the way, just by clicking this H button. H button will take you to home. Um, under meetings, scheduled meetings is where we keep the schedule. And you can see this is another turbocharged HTML table where we can sort by the day of week or the date as we wish. Um, so we can sort by day of week, how many we have on Friday, Saturday, etc. Of course, the Saturday one is the total session. And we can also sort by date, which is what the default sort is. And as you can see, this is November 18 that I'm recording this. Actually, it's after midnight now, so it's November 19 that I'm recording this. And the next meeting will be oh, tomorrow night. I better get a move on here. Anyway, up here in the drop down box, you'll see we, we default to all future dates, but you could actually look at all the dates we've scheduled. Now, we first populated this, or I first populated this meeting schedule in May, and the first meeting following May was actually in July, where we began dealing with the special town meeting more article. But you can also sort from these other things. You can say all future dates, which is the default, or all the dates without snow dates, because we do have snow dates scheduled in on the calendar, just in case it snows on a meeting. We have a date that we can move the meeting to. And of course, if you just want to look at only snow dates, you can see that we have, what, uh, three, five of those. So that's uh, the meeting schedule. Now, you might wonder how we come up with uh, the schedule. And we do this in consultation with, of course, the budget committee as a whole, the membership as a whole, but also, importantly, we do so in consultation with the state laws which require us to have certain work done by certain dates. Uh, and so there you can find under important dates. So under important dates, you'll see the laws that are applicable or are of interest to budget committee chairman when he's completing the meeting schedule each year. And so this is done using data arithmetic as derived from the uh, New Hampshire state laws. So you can see, for example, in 2019, the last year for petitioned articles that are not bonded is January 8, whereas the last date for petitioned articles which are bonded is January 4. And you get the public hearing deadline of January 15, because all the verbiage associated with that particular meeting, which is a very important meeting, and of course, on January 24, the Budget Committee has to deliver their results to the selectmen. That's the deadline in 2019. And if you click on the Show More button, you'll see that we've got a couple of uh, little helpful things to uh, talk about this document here. Uh, but also, you've got a drop-down list where you can select, say, we want to look at 2020, the following year. Automatically, it will calculate all the dates based on that. And so, uh, whoever's the chairman next year, if they choose to use this tool, we'll have this uh, information really available to aid them in creating their schedule for the budget session year of 2020. You can see up here in the web address, it says you yes, selected 2020. You could actually change that to, you know, pretty much anything, actually anything, any valid year, 2070. And it will calculate the dates for 2070 for you. So this is not hard-coded stuff. It's all based on uh, formulas that are derived from state law. Those formulas are defined in state law, and they are encoded in the software that drives this page. So that it is all about the scheduled meetings. I hope this uh, clarified uh, some things for you, and you found it helpful. Thanks.